Hi, skiers. I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. And I'm Allie. Uh, Allie and I are here today to talk about another 2020 ski. Uh, I think this is just uh, maybe our second or third 2020 women's ski review, which is exciting. Uh, season's on its way. Uh, I know a lot of you are, are kind of chomping at the bit to figure out what you're going to be skiing on this year. Um, so pretty cool ski from Blizzard, the Black Pearl Collection as a whole, and maybe the Black Pearl 88 specifically have been exceptionally popular in the past few years. Uh, Black Pearl 88 is actually the best-selling women's ski on the market total, um, I think like three years running or something like that. Um, and it's even in like the top 10 of total, I think it's like fifth or sixth in overall All skis skis sold, which is really cool. So, you know, more Black Pearl 88 sold than a whole bunch of really popular men's skis, which is cool. Um, Blizzard is doing a great job with their women's skis. Uh, they have a program called Women to Women. Ali, can you tell us a little bit about it? So the Women to Women project uh, is an initiative through Blizzard Technica where they have women designing their skis, testing their products from the first idea through production. Uh, and this is really different for any other ski company because men are usually the ones designing our skis. Uh, Blizzard Technica decided that that they wanted someone to design what they were going to ski and they wanted to get more women out there adventuring, enjoying each other, and really getting them on equipment that was meant for them. Um, what's great about it is that this 82 width fills a void in the lineup. Mm -hmm. um, so the women saw that there was a need for having this other uh, width ski lower than the 88, uh, a little wider than the Astral and the um, 78, 78 yep. uh, version of this. So it will get you a little farther on the mountain. And as we said, the Black Pearl 88 is one of the most popular skis out there. And I think that this will be a close one behind. It's going to fill that void that a lot of women have been looking for. Yep. And you may have seen us talk about the Brahma 82, which kind of is you know, a similar thing on the men's side. They're, they're filling a, a void in width. Um, but way different construction in these skis, um, kind of as a result of that women to women construction, or, yeah, the or women, women to women project. Mm -hmm. So, the no women, metal in these yeah. skis. Allie, what do we got going on in these skis? Uh, so the women to women have come up with this women specific uh, carbon flip core, which is a unidirectional carbon fiber that's integrated into the light wood core. Uh, this light wood core is only used in the women's lineup, not the men's. And this unidirectional uh, carbon fiber is also specific to the women's lineup. It creates a little less torsional stiffness, allows the ski more flexibility and ease of turn uh, for us ladies. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We'll talk a little bit more about that unidirectional carbon when we kind of dive into performance here. Um, but yeah, so no metal in these skis. Um, all the men's versions of, of this Ski or the or the Black Pearl series, so Bonafide, Brahma, all those things. They all have two sheets of metal, a denser wood core, and bidirectional carbon. So there's carbon running in in two different axes or, or multiple planes, um, and and essentially that that unidirectional carbon, it's, it's giving it really good longitudinal energy, uh, really good responsiveness, but it allows for slightly easier torsional flex, um, which is really cool, uh, and we'll we'll kind of we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, but that's that's the, really the main difference in construction compared to the men's skis: um, lighter wood core and a different carbon application, and no metal. Um, so quite a bit different. I mean, if you if you hold a pair of these in one hand and a Brahma eighty two in the other, it's it's a noticeable difference. Um, shape is really pretty straightforward. Um, they kind of. Basically, just carry forward the existing shape that we've seen in really the men's or the women's skis. Um, it, it's very, very similar to the Black Pearl 88 and the 78. Mostly camber. There's a little bit of tip rocker and a little bit of tail rocker, but it really is mostly camber, um, and it's pretty high rise camber too, which which kind of helps in the in the groomer performance and the overall performance. Um, so. Ali, you've skied this ski quite a bit. Um, let's kind of start with Firm Snow Groomer Performance. Um, what do you, you think? 
I definitely think that this is a frontside ski. Uh, it definitely has a wide range of abilities, ski abilities that it can handle. Uh, it definitely has quick edge to edge, um, stable on uh, groomers. Um, but based on the wood core, it is light and snappy, energetic. Yep. Uh, so for those aggressive skiers that are laying their hips down on the side of the hill as they're arcing their turns, this might not be the ski for you. It might not hold that strong edge that if you're an X racer, you might want. But for the average advanced skier to intermediate yep. skier, this ski is going to take you quick edge to edge, carve your turns. You can even pop into the woods and you'll have enough tail release to get around those trees and really have some fun on them. Yeah, and like, I don't want to take anything away from this ski. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're, you're going to be pretty hard pressed to push it past its limits. Um, we had this ski in our ski test. A ton of people were on it in our ski test. We put a bunch of really good skiers on it. And no one was specifically coming back saying, like, I felt like this lacked edge grip. Um, so it's really cool. They've, they've created a really good balance there of having the ability to hold an edge through a turn, but it's not fighting you when you're entering or exiting a turn. That's kind of how I, my takeaway from from reading all the results from the ski test and talking to people about this ski. Yeah, I definitely have a, a X racer background, but I've calmed myself down a little bit and these yeah. skis were great. I could really push them. And as he said, I'd never found the limit. I was never being thrown out of a turn. Yeah. Uh, but at the end of my run, I wasn't exhausted from having to hold that long turn yep. and that sharp turn. Or needing to really drive the tip of the ski to get it to, into a carving mm -hmm. turn. It was very easily much, initiated the turns. Yeah, much, much more user friendly than, you know, a, a stiffer, heavier mm -hmm. ski. Or say something that used that bi-directional carbon that's going to give you, it, it's fighting you more when you're entering a turn. Mm -hmm. You mentioned moguls and trees. I think it's very interesting that Blizzard categorizes these skis as all mountain free ride. You know, just going through catalogs and looking at different websites and stuff, it's pretty rare that you see an 82 millimeter underfoot ski, even, you know, it's not in their free ride category, but it's got the word free ride next to all mountain. Like, that's what they categorize it. We would never put an 82 millimeter ski in the free ride category in our ski test, for example. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it makes sense with this ski because I think it's pretty darn awesome for moguls and trees. I do too, and especially East Coast skiers. I mean, not that West Coast skiers won't love it as well, but with our tighter trees, yeah. this lightweight, energetic ski is really fun in there. It really yeah. helps you to make your turns easy. It, you know, it holds a turn when you're on a groomer, but in the trees, it allows you to have that energy through the turn that you can hop around yeah. and feel safe and have fun out there. Yeah, and like way easier, you know, we, we I think, it's very common and easy to do this, but I think it's very common when you think about tree skiing, you think about soft snow. Mm -hmm. It's just like, that's the pretty picture that we all have in our head of like, hey, we're going to go ski some trees. It's going to be fun. We're going to be like hopping through the powder. It's not Always. usually <laughs> like that, especially here in Stowe. I mean, if you want to ski trees every day at Stowe, you're going to be skiing a lot more firm conditions in the woods than soft conditions mm -hmm. and I think a lot of skiers are starting to realize you know maybe they went out maybe they went out and bought a ski that's 105 underfoot with a ton of rocker and they wanted that to be their tree ski mm -hmm. I think a lot of people are starting to come back around and say like this is really fun but there's a lot of days when it's not that fun and I really like having a ski with the the straighter tail for my wood skiing especially yeah. on the east coast um, it allows me to, you know, formalize my turns in the woods yeah. where with something with a little bit more tail rocker, I'm swishing my turns a little bit more. And I don't yeah. particularly love that smear. I think that this allows for a better turn and actually a more strategic turning. Yep. So, yeah, that's the Black Pearl 82. I think we covered pretty much everything, yeah. all the important stuff at least. Um, definitely let us know if you have any questions. I don't necessarily know that this is going to take all the black pearl 88 sales or, or skiers i definitely think they complement each other nicely um, this feels a little bit more precision oriented i think those people that have been on system skis in the past might want to move to something like this it's going to be that lighter yep. ski you're not going to have the heaviness of that system binding on here yep. um but it does uh, you know still get you that carving front side ability yeah that's a great point is it's really and I think that's something that we're seeing in the industry 
as a theme a little bit right now is these narrower, flatter skis, mm -hmm. which are retaining that quick edge-to-edge -edge feel, the front side performance, but giving you much, much more versatility, mm -hmm. lower center of gravity, lighter weight, all that good stuff. Easier to carry and easier yeah. to ski. They look good too, don't you think? They are. I mean, Blizzard's got like some great it. graphics and, you know, they've gone with a simple one, but they have the striation on the top that, you know, cuts down from the yeah. dings and it really holds up well over the yeah. years. I got one comment from somebody that they hadn't seen them in person and they were afraid that they were too pink. They're really not that pink to me. There's a little bit of pink in the tail, but I see a lot more purple personally. Definitely on the purple side. Yeah. I think it's a really good looking graphic. Um, that's Black Pearl 82. Let us know if you have any more questions. Allie and I will do a few more women's ski reviews going mm -hmm. into the season. Um, and, and we'll bring her back for the women's comparison articles too. Um, and yeah, so hopefully we'll, we'll see you guys on the slopes soon. Uh, Killington often opens in mid-October, so. And still will be open so. the day before Thanksgiving. Yep. So we'll see you guys on the slopes soon. Have a great day. Yeah.